got a strong signal, uh, about 14, 41, sitting in the 40 to 42 range, 12 to 14. There it is. Looks like I got my first silver with the CTX. Hopefully get some more. Got a couple weeks too. That's right. All right, I'm back out again. The following Sunday, or I don't know if I was out Saturday last time, but um, I dug a wheat and I just pulled a railway token now on about six inches. Got a few of these. Oops, sorry. It's a Pittsburgh Railway token. I think they're all dated like 1922. Alright, check back in if I find anything else. Alright, got the first Indian head penny of the year. It's my second time out. And, uh, down about four inches. You can see the one cent on the back. Clean it up when I get home. Alright. Thanks for walking. Just walking out. Came by a little bench and I got a 12 1240, 1241 screaming right under the ground. Figured a dime maybe. Now it's sitting. 1345. Anyways, I just stuck the lesh down in. And just peep. It's probably going to be a pop top every time I do this. I think I see a ring. It's a ring. It doesn't look gold, probably silver. But it's a ring nonetheless. Second ring with the CTX. Looks like the second clunker. Maybe sterling. I don't know. Check back in when I get to the house. Got a deep 1246. Just popped it out of the hole. It's saying eight inches. I'm down pretty good ways. Let's see, eight inches. It's hitting 11:47 now. It's probably going to be garbage, but let's see. Let's see if I turned it on. Would be helpful. Oh no, I think I got a largey. <clears throat> I don't know. Looks to be a large. I'll try and get it cleaned up and see what it is. Check back in and find anything else. Sweet. All right, I just dug. Um, Two Wheaties in the general 10 foot area. I got a mid 30, low 30 tone, down about five inches down of these roots. And I got my, I think it's my first Indian with the CTX since I got it back. Um, that's pretty fresh. I'm gonna get my hands and have a look at it. Looks like it's maybe 1880. I'm not really sure. 
Dave just dug a beautiful uh, 1914 barber dime. I'll get that uh, pictures of that before I go. All right. I don't think it's an 1880. It looks like a 18, maybe 69. I don't know much about Indians. But I don't think 59 would be right. All right. I'll let you know when I figure it out. All right. Just went and got some lunch back. A solid 1244 and got my first barber. Ah. Ah. Having a pretty good day. Let's see, 1911. I'll show you Dave's here in a little bit when we are at the end. I just got a four inch target hitting like a dime. Not sure what it is, but it has a number 13. It's old. Yeah. I'll have to get it cleaned up when I get home. There's some writing on the back. Sweet. I almost gave up on this one. All right, um, about 30 yards from the button, we got a 1896, looks like, Indian. Not real deep, I'm about three or four inches. Dave's taking a quarter, he's trying to trade me for the Indian. All right, check back in if we get anything else. Wait, so All right, I just got a 1244, real faint. I think it was on edge. 12:45. Um, hopefully this one's a large scent. The other one wasn't. But, oh, this one's looking like a large scent. Down about seven inches. So I'll get it cleaned up after, and hopefully that's what it is. Anyway. All right. So Dave's gonna get going today. And I'm gonna show you it's fine. All right, what do we got there? This silver piece of jewelry. And then, what's the first one here? We don't know. Oh yeah, it's that's a flat. flat one. We're not sure what that is yet. Got a railway token. Um, what's the next one there? Civil War token. Civil War token. Yeah. Eight, 1863. Yep. Mm -hmm. 1914 barber, or 41 merc. Yep. All right. Yep. Couple weeks. Buy it. You got some weeks and plaid, but we don't show that. All right. <laughs> you don't we'll show that, huh? Yeah. You got a jump. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you my funds for um, the first few hunts. I'm getting my CTX. I bought another CTX 3030. Um, I've been out a few times. This is a few of the things I found. I've got the 18 karat. It's um 18 karat electric plate. Um, got this guy here. Oh, Junker ring. It's a big one. Trolley token. Forty-nine Rosie. Um, I got a nineteen oh four Indian. This is an oh nine wheat, nineteen ten wheat, and nineteen eleven wheat. I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, this is you can't even see the date. I am not sure what this is. If anyone knows, please leave a comment. And then we got, this is my finds for, if it can come back into focus. My finds for July 3rd. Mm -hmm. Start with the trash. 
Um, I started off in Ferris Coin, and I was digging a lot of iron. Switched to the ground coin. A couple of these I picked up off the ground. I just seen them on top of the ground, but I think I dug me. May I'm. Bits got a bullet case. Uh, it looks like one of them lights. Not sure what this is. Um, just two pull tabs, and then I got um, nine copper memorials, six zinc, eight dimes, one nickel. Nine quarters, and this thing here. I'm not sure what this is. Like the other thing, if anyone knows, let me know. This looks like a piece of a buckle. Um, I'm gonna find my oldest coin. It's a 1816. Now it's uh, escaping me. What the coin is. Uh, but it's 1816. Austrian, that's what it is. It's uh, cruising, or K R U. E Z E N. It's toasted on the back. But if you wet it through the loop, you can see the detail. Um, pulled a large scent. Another large scent. It's a braided hair. When, you, when it's wet, like I said, you can see them a lot better when they're wet. Um, my favorite find, a 13th Regiment New York Militia button. It's a lot of the gold gilt still on it. The Waterbury Company. Um, I got two Indians. Uh, 1896, and the first one I pulled turns out to be a, get it, 1869, I guess that's like a semi-key date, so that was pretty cool, and then a piece of silver, 1911 Barber. So, uh, and then the wheats, they're uh, a lot of teen 20s, and then there's 240s and 50. I'm not going to try and look at all of them. Um, but this up here was from the first couple, and then this, all this stuff on the whole thing here was the third. And I had Film Dave's finds on the tailgate. That'll be. Um, probably before this. Thanks for watching.